<laughs> hey, welcome back, guys. This is an exciting day. Are you excited? She's excited. She gives a little... <laughs> as a positive response. Right? Right? Thick. <laughs> so, behind me... This isn't really a couch I'm sitting on. This is a barrier. It's a barrier for that. Let's see what's looking back there. Did you go back there? No, you didn't, right? So, first time I did this... It was about half the width. Now it's about twice the width on this runner on the bottom. Got a bunch of those guys. See those rocks? They're coming on. And I'm gonna start by laying out some on top of here. Or maybe picking the up wall. Laying some there and then figuring it out. And then eventually we may make it all the way to here. But we are mudding today, guys. Who's ready? Me. Who's excited? Me. You're probably gonna need to sort some more rocks outside. You know that, right? All right, me too. So, that's where the wood stove is going to stand. We're going to have rock on the rest of this. And we are... Ready. Ready and excited. Belle, are you excited? You say hi? No, on, on that side, you can say hi from there. Hi. Oh, she likes to look at the screen here. I'll turn the screen to her. Now say hi. Yeah. If I try to say her hi, say hi to somebody on the phone, she doesn't understand there's a camera, a lens on the other side. So she walks over to the screen side and I gotta reverse it and then she goes, hi. But uh, you know, I'll, I, I, I want this to look more rustic too, honestly. Like you see where there's like a fox skin on the wall and a crossbow and a bunch of peppers hanging. I like more decor like that than like, um, than like this. So we're gonna go put some stone there. Eventually we'll put some wood there. I gotta burn up some wood soon. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna lay these stones out and see what happens. But today is a happy day for my people. I've been waiting for this for years.
this part of the project <clears throat> is making sure I have the right stones in the right places, kind of like a puzzle with no picture to look at. It's just kind of whatever I want to create. Trying to find the best way for different stones to uh, fit together. You can see I had a bigger triangle that was open over here. So I redid that. I'm thinking of pulling these kind of tighter to the edge and then sloping back from there. Um, and I want to have a little bit of a lip here because this is coming out at a higher level too. So I'm happy with this. What I'm going to do is lift these up a layer and just set them where they're going to go on this layer for right now. Start one at a time mudding all these across. I'm probably going to start at the outer edge to make sure that's looking like I want it and then work my way back. And if there's a little space back here, that's easy enough with these to adjust. Um, <clears throat> never done anything like this before. Nope. I just checked my memory. Never. So, first time's a charm. So, for this project, I will not be using any cute little bunnies, but the kids wanted to show me a couple of the ones that they recently uh, had a little bit ago. I'm going to get the focus at a different point of the screen here. But these are some Thanksgiving Day rabbits that the kids had. They're getting a little bigger and kind of super cute. We got a special one today. Alright, show me what you got. And Pinky has been wanting to show me this for a minute. But today we got to come out. Because what day were they born? Thanksgiving, right? Uh, yeah. I think yeah, so. pretty sure. So which rabbit is this? This is coconut. Coconut. And it's her first time having babies. So how many did she have, the child? Seven. Five, seven. So. Whoa. Okay, that's a cuteness. <laughs> oh, active little one. One. Wow, that fur in there is just bouncing. Active little oh. babies. Here's one. Let's They're see. painted. Like they got painted. some nice color. Of course, their mom is kind of that burnt coconut color, right? Yeah. Like if you got roasted coconut flakes. Yeah. Oh, that that baby has like oh. half pink. Half, um, Here's another. Uh, Here's one. Or black, whatever it is. <laughs> Just has a pink belly and it's black. Mm. And, so, seven total. Red pepper, and they're all still doing good. Yes, and here's this one. It's gray and pink again. Ooh, that's it looks a like cool the other one. Color one. I'll have to check them out in the light sometime too. But wow, you make sure you tuck them all back in there really good. Yeah, here's another one. Just okay. Like kind of. and, okay. Here's one. It looks just like its dad, oh, or yeah. one of its dads. Oh. Okay. So. <laughs> Okay. The last, the last, I don't know if it's the last one, but it's the last one you're showing me. Whoa, that's like a like a brindled color almost. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I can't wait to see what that looks like when it gets bigger. <sighs> Some of her sisters are in there. Yeah. Wow, Red no one. dead ones. Well, thank you for showing me. <laughs> so I thought I'd show you just a couple of them quick. And if you want just like a full cute bunny video and some other stuff, let me know. I've got some work to do outside with the rabbit stuff, so... I could always do that for you guys. Let me know in the comments if you want that. I really like the edge on this one. It's got kind of a, a gray edge around the black, a little different. But when it comes to these rocks and laying them, a couple things. Um, since this is going to be supporting some weight, I'm using a Type S mortar, which is going to be stronger and better for supporting weight. Another thing that's gonna happen is I'm going to kind of moisten these with a sponge to prevent them from sucking moisture out of the mortar and causing it to dry quicker than it should. So I'm gonna kind of moisten these, I'm not gonna saturate them, but I'm gonna moisten these, then apply some mortar on the back of here, maybe about an inch almost or so, and then force them down onto the scratch coat. The scratch coat has dried and it's got a bunch of little ridges, so it's kind of like that. And when I butter these up and force them into there, it's gonna adhere to that and kind of fit them together like this. I'll be leaving a little bit of space in between and I'll probably try to wipe that smooth maybe with a damp uh, cloth at the end. But that's kind of the basic thing for this project, non-bunny related. And I'm gonna just film a little bit when I get this mortar mixed up.
at the moment I've got this the consistency I want. It spreads easy, but it still holds its shape, which is what I'm looking for. I'm gonna start moistening these stones and uh, applying this to the back of them and then forcing them into place. One thing is I'm starting at the edge because this is kind of the presentation edge and there's a lot less play between the carpet and the stone than back here. Back here I can do all sorts of stuff. I can have a gap, I can do some other things. Doesn't matter, you know, because the gap I can fill in with mortar and then put these stones on top for the coming up. Here I've got less, so I'm gonna start here and just kind of work back and forth across this whole section and then I may have to fill in some stuff um, in between these two. We'll see. I'm gonna be working in small batches, taking my time. If I make a big batch, it could all dry up before I get done. This probably isn't gonna get me very far, but I've got a lot of it available and um, we'll see how this works. No big
So at this moment, that base layer is done. I am going to use a wet cloth or wet paper towel and maybe wet sponge or wet finger or something just to clean it up a little bit. But I think I might let this set my back and body need a break before I do the up one. So we'll see. So far though so good and I think overall I did all right. Well, this is one of those projects that's going to be ongoing. I ran out of time. That's what I got done. I think next time I might do the flat section first, bring it out to the edge, and then finish at the edge. That way I don't paint myself into a corner. We'll see. Um, but it's going good. Pop out. Mm -hmm.